What's up, sidekicks? It's The Cape, and welcome to my first episode of No Man's Sky. You guys like how I did that? Kind of timed it a little bit. You have no idea how many times I had to do this to try to get that right. Anyway, I hope you guys appreciate it. Anyway, so um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with No Man's Sky. Um, I've been following its development since, you know, it was announced a couple years ago. Um, so I wanted to, um, you know, do some videos for it. Um, I don't know uh, if any of you have picked it up. Uh, I know there's... Uh, the outcome so far for the game is you either love it or you hate it. Uh, it seems to be the way it's it's going right now. Um, a lot of people are annoyed that uh, you know features were talked about you know up to its development or discussed up to development or thought were going to be in the game you know while it was being developed um, that didn't make it in. So you know a lot of people are pissed off about that. Um, it's it's pretty much just a giant sandbox exploration game. If you like wandering around, finding all kinds of stuff, it's it's pretty cool. I like it. So, um, so here we are. Uh, we're on our starter planet. Um, I've got about 20 hours in. Um, hey, look, we found something. Yay. Weather smoldering. So, we're in Alabama? <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, so I've got about 20 hours into the game. I still enjoy it. Um, I actually uh, started over from the beginning just for you guys. So uh, hopefully, oh look, um, we've got a higher level of heat on this planet. Anyway, um, so here we are. Uh, this is the starting area. Um, open up tab to, uh, or you press tab to open up your inventory. We've got our multi-tool. Our busted starship over there and our exosuit um, so I, what I'd like to do is um, kind of give you guys some tips and starting tricks and stuff like that um, that I have found while I've been playing and also just to kind of explore with you guys um, I since it's such a big game I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this just yet because um, you know you guys don't want to watch me wander around a planet for hours on end um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to make you guys sit through that. So, anyway, uh, so some base controls. Uh, shift is your run button. Um, WASD for moving around. Um, oh, also, if you guys notice, I don't have my webcam up uh, for my face cam because I don't, I couldn't find a, a spot on the screen that, um, you know, would keep, you know, I didn't want to block your view of stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll fire it up on one of the next uh, one of the next videos. But anyway, so let's get started. Um, first off, uh, I usually I like to um, uh, these crash pods right here, damage machinery, uh, will give you um, upgrades that you can make for either your ship or your you know your exosuit or stuff. Um, Oh, and some also some some really quick things. Those of you who have played No Man's Sky will notice that my game looks and behaves a little differently from what you're used to. Um, I am running a few mods, but they're all uh, they're all graphical mods. Um, like I took away that that Instagram vignette filter, um, if that's how you say it, uh, the scan lines and some other stuff that kind of grunged up the you know the the scenery. Um, and I also, if you notice, I didn't have to hold E while I was opening these containers. Um, I actually installed a mod that has instant action, so it's more PC-ish. Um, yeah, it's definitely a console port. Having to hold, having to hold the mouse button or whatever to interact with things, it's kind of, eh, kind of clunky in my opinion. But anyway, so uh, let's get started. Our distress beacon. Reality seems to fold in on itself. One moment I can see debris, and another a vast red orb, almost too large and too bright to behold. It knows me, inside and out, more than I ever could myself. Could this be the face of creation itself? Or in my hazy, freshly awakened state, am I being manipulated? A name birds itself into my mind, Atlas, and a request made without words that I should follow the path this being, this Atlas, has set for me. I'm going to accept it because it's about as close to a storyline as you're going to get in the game. Um, 
it gives you some direction, uh, which is kind of nice and helpful if you're just starting out. Um, so some things we need to do first. Uh, we need to go to our multi-tool. We need to repair our analysis visor and our scanner because those are really going to help us. Um, the scanner will uh, let us send a pulse out from our suit that helps identify resources that we can uh, you know, gather up. And analysis visor is for analyzing like uh, plants and animals that we come across. Um, so we definitely need to do that. Um, for our ship repair, we need to get uh, make some more karaite sheets. Uh, we can make karaite sheets from hitting E on our inventory, and we can create these items here. These what we have blueprints for currently. Um, so we need iron, 50 iron per karaite sheet. Um, and we also need, oops, didn't mean to do that. We also need some zinc and some heridium uh, to fix our pulse engine, which is uh, something that helps us get around a lot faster than normal. Um, so first things first, let's get some carbon and some iron together to fix our scanner and analysis visor. Um, so um, we need, I'm gonna leave the animals because we need the animals. Um, Let's go collect this stuff. Um, if you if you point your reticle at something and it gives you materials of some sort, it will tell you what it gives you. Um, so it's kind of helpful. You know, plants and animals generally give you carbon. Um, stones and stuff generally give you uh, generally give you what was I saying? Oh, generally give you. Um, iron anyway so uh ooh, some platinum we don't really need that but uh these knowledge stones will actually help you learn languages in the game uh there are four languages that i know of um there's the corvax which are like um uh they look like daft punk members honestly but they um they are uh kind of like ai i guess like the um uh how would you say it um, they are like, I'm drawing a, drawing a brain blank here. They're like cyborgs, like cybernetic beings or whatever. Um, yeah, I know all that time. That's what I came up with. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, I forgot what I was going with this. Let's see. It, do I have enough to make anything? I have enough to repair something. Let's go repair my analysis visor. So with the analysis visor, we can hit our F key, come up here, F key, so we got to hold F key, and see how it's got the little red dot on the little animal? It means I haven't scanned it yet. So I'm going to try and scan this guy. Come here. Would you stay still? Look at these dudes. They look like ants. Why are you... Stay still. Haha, <laughs> you got stuck. Sweet. Let's go check out this, uh... Oh, we don't have this guy yet. Oh, he's kind of cute. Let's go check out these guys. Hello. Hello. Now, sometimes you can actually... Oh, we feed them heridium, huh? Um, now, you can actually feed the wildlife. Sometimes they will uh, vomit up uh, items or dig items up or poop items um, or they'll just lead you to an item that you may have not seen previously uh, it's kind of neat I like it um, all right so we need we need carbon because we need to fix uh, we need to fix our scanner so we can actually get our resources to fix our ship my goal is to try and get the fix the the ship fixed uh, in this episode so I'm going to try and keep this episode to 15 minutes to make it a little more easier to digest. <laughs> I try really hard to keep some of these shorter, but I fail miserably sometimes. So yeah, so we've got these mushrooms. Um, and you see how you know we start kind of hitting it um, with our mining beam. And it uh, tells us we're getting carbon from it. So we get our carbon. Got our jetpack. Um, oh! A quick tip uh, for you guys um, Q is your melee attack um, honestly I haven't used it for anything other than uh, what I'm about to show you next 
Um, if you're moving forward and you hit shift to kind of run, if you hit melee and your jetpack at the same time and you don't run anything like I did, it'll actually like give you a huge speed boost. Okay, let's try this again. Watch this. Running, Q and spacebar. Got that jetpack boost. Super nice. Super, super nice. Makes it so much easier to get around. Um, and the planets are freaking huge, so you're gonna, you're probably gonna, you're probably gonna need it. Um, I thought I saw some more animals over here, but that's, that's not really our concern. Okay. Um, shielding plates. So shielding plates will help you recharge your hazard protection. So you just click on it and then click on the hazard protection, or you can click on what you need to recharge and click on whatever will re recharge it. Uh, I want to use the shielding plates because we need zinc to fix our ship. We don't want to, um, you know, use up all of our stuff. There's that nice hyper boost. So much faster than running. Um, let's see, what can we fix right now? Uh, oh, need a lot more iron. So I'm going to mine some iron and then we'll come back. Okay, so we're, we're back. Um, I wanted to just, I wanted you guys to see this. Um, these larger like nodes, um, you know, of iron and stuff, uh, you only get, you know, a couple while you're mining it, but once you actually destroy the, the node, it actually gives you quite a bit. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this. So we're about to destroy this iron node. And boom, all that iron. So your uh, on-person inventory stacks to 250. Um, and your inventory in your ship says should stack to 500. Um, FYI, in case you were curious, you probably weren't, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So now that we have enough iron, let's go ahead and make, um, let's go ahead and make our karite sheets we need to fix our, our launch thrust, our launch thruster. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this. If you don't have the, the fast action mod, you just hold the left click down and it'll do the little time thingy and it'll fix it. So um, now we need two more karite sheets. We need some more zinc. Um, did we fix our multi-tool? We didn't fix our scanner, shame on me. All right, so let's fix the scanner. Um, you see this little white bar on our mining beam? It means it's getting low. So what we can do, we can click on that and we need to charge um, let's use our Thamian 9 and some carbon um, to recharge our mining beam because we're going to need that. Um, so what I'm going to do now, since we have, uh, we fixed our scanner, um, I'm going to, oh, nope, nope, that guy's bad. These guys will actually like whip out, like whip you. See, watch. Boom. It's not very nice. So let's kill him, take his carbon for ourselves and laugh as we run away. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna hit C. We're gonna send out our scan pulse and it's gonna highlight stuff, you know, within range. Um, so there's actually a knowledge stone over here. Let's go hit that. And there might be some zinc over here. No, that's not zinc, that's titanium. Oh dear. Okay. We need to find zinc. We also need, hey, we learned the Corvax word for Corvax. Well, that seems helpful. Um, also, you can um, you can scan plants and rock formations, and um, right click zooms um, your binoculars, so you can go and catalog all this stuff. Um, apparently, I can't. All right, let's scan the giant mushrooms. This is an interesting tree. It's like leaking some kind of black stuff from the top. That's kind of weird. Anyway, all right. Analyze you. All right, anyway. Um, scan out. Let's go ahead and get some titanium. Um, and we need, what is this over here? Plutonium, let's go ahead and get some plutonium. Our launch thrusters uh, run on plutonium, so uh, it's fairly, it's a fairly common ore, or a fairly common isotope, you know, thing to find. Um, which is nice that they made it that way, because it's required to launch off. Unless you land at a, uh, like on a landing pad, or at like a, a landing beacon. I'll show you guys later on once we 
once we fix our ship and we start actually moving around. Um, some, some Thamian. Uh, ooh, some more technology. Definitely need that. Let's see. New technology discovered. Reflector shield enhancement. Sweet. Um, okay. Seriously, I need... I need zinc is what I need. Oh, there's some zinc. Is this carrot? What? No. No, it's not. It's just some weird looking stuff. Okay. So. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Haha! -ha. That should be enough to fix our ship. Um. Now we need some. Now we need some. Uh. uh what was it? We need some heridium. That's what we need. Uh, that right there. So, um, big mining clumps of stuff, like if you find like aluminum or gold or heridium in this case, when you scan, it'll show up as this just white boxed um, blob. I mean, that's really, that's really what you'd call it, is a blob. Um, so let's mine some heridium so we can fix our ship finally. Oh no, our inventory is full. Something else. Um, if you don't have any inventory slots and you start mining, um, anything that you mine is going to get dumped because it doesn't automatically transfer to your ship, which is kind of irritating. But that's just that's just how they did it. Uh, I don't I don't know why. Um, but now that we have some space, we can mine this iridium and get enough to fix our ship. Um, I'm going to mine this, and then we'll come back when I've got enough to fix the ship. Okay. So, um, I have mined enough heridium, uh, so we can actually fix that now. Um, if we're close enough, we can just go ahead and repair it. We are close enough to repair it. Sweet! So now, it's gonna ask us, um, now we've got, uh, our, let's see, our leave planet objectives, refuel launch thrusters. So, we need to go find us some plutonium. Uh, let's use our handy scanner, uh, find us, oop, milestone. Ugh, such a pain. It's kind of cool, you know, with the milestone pop-ups, but uh, they get old after a while, and they always seem to come up at the most inopportune times. Um, you know, like in the middle of trying to fight for your life. <laughs> for example, um, some Thamian 9, we don't, we really need, we really need that plutonium, so let's go find some plutonium. Use our scanner again, I see some some platinum. Get some, get some more platinum. Maybe it sells on the station that we're going to fly to here in a minute. Ah, plutonium. Oh, shit. See, all that. Oh, we have a whole stack of plutonium. What the hell? Okay, so also, if you hover over there, you can, if you're close enough to your ship, you can actually transfer things to your ship. Uh, or if you hover over items and you're close enough to your ship, you can transfer items from your exit suit to your ship. As you can see, X transfers items. You can do it back and forth. But if you're too, uh, usually you have more range transferring from your exit suit to the starship, uh, as opposed to your starship to your exit suit. I don't know why that is. That's just that's just how it is. So uh, I'm gonna mine some of this aluminum because it's here, and maybe we can sell it for you know units we'll get some more plutonium because everything runs off uh, my inventory is full again okay never mind let's just do this all right so punch boost so much faster guys so much faster this is just your normal running speed right near fy all right so um let's get over here fuel up our launch thruster Interact. We'll get into our our beautiful little starter ship here. Hit tab. Launch thruster. Plutonium. Give us a nice full load. We've got some Thamian. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit in the pulse engine. Pulse engine is what gives us a little extra boost. Um, like when we're in space, it's, it's quite helpful. So now that we've fueled it, um, we hold W to take off as it's selling us. Hold W. Boom. Now you'll see that it actually reduced some of the fuel in my launch thruster. That's because we were not on a landing pad or at a landing beacon. Um, if you land at one of those places, when you take off, it won't actually subtract anything 
confirm your fuel. Um, hooray, another milestone. So many milestones. Um, there's a facility we'll have to come look at later. Okay, so now that we've launched our ship, we are going to jet out of here. So I'm going to point my nose up. Ooh, look at the planets of the clouds, guys. Uh, so point my nose up and escape the atmosphere. Hooray! We're in, oh, see the space station is 53 minutes away. Yeah. So, uh, so another quick tip about Thamian 9. Um, you see these asteroids? These are the best place to get Thamian 9 because it's pretty much in every asteroid you'll ever gonna see. Um, and literally all you have to do is shoot the asteroids and it loads, loads you up with Thamian. Um, yeah, that's, that's literally all you do. Uh, now there are some larger ones that have different minerals and stuff, but um, you know, whatever. Uh, there's some cargo ships over there. That's kind of nice. So, looking at this, you see our arrive-in time. 52 minutes, guys. Ain't nobody got time for that. So, what we're going to do, and this is why we fueled our, our pulse jet, uh, we are going to use our pulse jet to get over there faster. So, you can either hold A and D together, or you can hold spacebar. Spacebar is easier for me. So, we're going to hold spacebar, get us a little countdown, and boom! Our 53 minute trip turned into 20 seconds. So nice, and it looks pretty too while we're at it. So, very important to remember this stuff. There's quite a few planets in this system too, which is kind of nice. Um, I'll probably spend a lot of time in this in this system. When I, the, the first playthrough that I did, or the when I first started playing, um, I could not wait to leave my home system. But honestly, there's just, there's so much to do. Um, it would be nice to spend a little more time in the home system and explore everything. Of course, my, my previous starting system was really kind of lame, so eh, it's kind of dumb. Anyway, so now that we're pulling into the space station, I think I'm going to cut it off uh, for this episode. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, put it in the comment section, you know, the, the comment section area below. Um, I'll link uh, the place where I, oh, look at that ship. Ha, huh, that's kind of neat. Kind of asymmetrical. I like that. Hopefully we'll find us some pretty cool ships to repair. Um, anyway, uh, as I was saying, I'm going to put a link to where I got the mods that I installed and which mods I had installed um, in the comments in the description below uh, in case you guys want to do the same thing. Um, but uh, until next time, I will see you all later.